Hi, I'm Leanne Patton with The Whole Nine Yards. Today, I'm going to show you how to get a designer look for the top of your Christmas tree. We start by laying out all of the elements I have to work with. I usually start out with my tallest pick. This is going to determine the height of the tree. Working with one style at a time helps you to get balance throughout your tree. That way you can really tell what the pick you're working with is going to look like. Now I'm going to move on to my next style. You just want to kind of work these down into the tree. I love a live tree, but an artificial tree is much easier to decorate, to hold pieces in place. See, now I'm working with a little bit different size, scaling down just a little bit with the size of the tree. I want my topper to be full, but I still like for it to be airy always good to stand back and take a look and see what you need where. I'm going to add another style pick and this one is going to give me a little more of a filler. So I want some substance in the top even though I want that light and airy look you don't want to see through the whole thing. And see even just what that one pick does right there, you can tell how it's going to give it a little bit more fullness in the top. See how I'm getting balance as I go around? With every piece, you just want to make sure you have balance. So if you put one in on one side, you need to balance it out with something else in a similar area. Okay, so now I pretty much have the top like I want it. I always start with my tree topper. That helps me a couple of different ways. It helps me to know what I have left to work with because I usually try to keep a few pieces from the top to work in through the rest of the tree. And I also will hold out a few pieces that I have in the tree that kind of match the tree and work it into the other parts of the room or the house. I'm gonna add in some of the bows we made earlier. This just adds a little fullness at the base of this heavy top treatment. And again, we want balance. Everything doesn't have to be, I don't even necessarily want every bow to be the same height all the way around. So don't worry about trying to be too perfect. Just get a good balance with what feels right with the pieces you have to work with. Now that the tree is finished, you can see that I've taken elements from the topper and used them throughout the tree. If you'll notice, I used a couple of flowers instead of just one flower. You don't always have to do that, but in several places where you want to make more of a statement, that's a good idea. You can take your inexpensive ribbon, tie some extra bows, and use them on the inside of the tree. You can also use a lot of natural things in your tree. It doesn't have to be really expensive. Think about what you have access to. If you have evergreen trees or another type of greenery in your yard, holly, anything like that, break off pieces. You can even spray it with the snow spray and add that to your tree. That gives you another natural element. It's a great filler and it won't cost hardly anything. Another thing you could add would be pine cones. They are beautiful sprayed with the snow spray and they make a big show. The bird nest I've used throughout the tree, I felt like they were a, a pretty good investment because I'm planning to use those in other ways later. I'll definitely use those in my Easter tablescape so that's something that I won't just put up for Christmas, I'll use throughout the year. I hope these tips have helped to make your home beautiful this Christmas season. And from me and my family to you and yours, we wish you a very Merry Christmas. Hello. For more design tips and tutorials, be sure and subscribe to this channel. You can also follow us on one of our other social media outlets so you won't miss a thing.